So if anybody uh, has uh, remained with us between games, whoops, a doopsie. That's a bit noisy. Let's turn that down. Uh, here we are again to do a little bit of and knuckles. And I sort of said mm, as a bit of a, a sort of a glottal mm, there um, to indicate that it's supposed to be an ampersand. Basically, says Matt, stuff like this, and he means the last game, I don't have the awareness for. I miss a lot of details. In Dark Souls 2, oh, that's interesting. Awareness. I mean, you know me, I don't have a record-breaking level of awareness. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, with the, for anyone who's uh, just tuning in doesn't know, we're playing through Sonic Mania. We already have done the Sonic and Tails run, and now... We are trying to get through it with Knuckles, which is a slightly more, well, a much more ponderous uh, sort of a pace. Plus, I keep getting lost and being bad at it. Doo -doo. Who's this little fella following us around? Oh, he's gonna zap us. Oh dear. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's quite late at night, so, you know, I'm not at my most uh, vivid... I don't mean that. Vivacious. Do I mean that? Well, anyway, I'm a bit sleepy now, is what I'm saying, and uh, I've conditioned myself with the last game to be quiet and ponderous. And that's not what we need from, for Sonic Mania. So, maybe I can pet myself up a bit somehow, and uh, get into some high-paced speed in me actions. Speed in me actions what high-paced actions are called. I think Abby's gone off to get ready for bed. She's got to go to bed in a minute. Uh, and so have I, really. Oh, that's right, that's why I'm sleepy. It's because I uh, lost a bit of sleep last night as a result of just a sort of random circumstance of not getting the, all that much sleep. But, uh, I mean, I got loads of sleep, but just, like, not a full eight-hour run, which I have been getting recently. I've been very, very, very good to the point where I'm really, like, alarmed and surprised at my at my good behaviour because for many years I've I've kept very strange sleepy-wakey hours and I realised one day I'm simply sick of this, absolutely sick of the back teeth of this, I'm fixing it, and I did. And that day was about a month ago and I've been pretty good ever since. And, yep... Massive, massive improvement to my overall happiness and well-being. Who knew? Oh, Cairo, interesting. Who knows? Maybe it's not enough for me. I don't know. I, could, I can't imagine a circumstance where I could attempt to have more than eight hours of sleep. That's a heroically long amount of sleep. <laughs> The tricky part for me, says Kyra, is that when I'm sleeping, my inhibitions are down. As far as you should sleep, you'll wish you had. What do you mean? I don't think I understood that. Do you mean that... I mean, that sounds good. It sounds like when you're sleepy, you want to go to sleep. And that's totally acceptable. <laughs> that's that's a, an optimum situation, if anything. Oh no, Matt, really? Oh no. Oh yeah, Kairu, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean by that. I absolutely know what you mean by that. And I, and that's what happened to me last night, actually. I was in a little... Yeah, yeah, I was, I was up just a little bit later than usual last night. And as a result, I was up a lot later than usual and that yeah exactly once you you basically you do you get sleepier and sleepier as time goes by and so you get slower and worse at doing things and making decisions until it gets to the point where you're just like oh it's 4am that's not what happened last night I, I went to bed at midnight but that's in, that's incredibly late for me since I turned over a new leaf whereas before that yeah yeah I was no stranger to trying to go to bed around about you know midnight to one-ish and ending up in bed at four because just things got away from you. It just, it, you can't even say oh, I was distracted by this or this happened. It's more like what happened? You're not sure. Ah, oh. yeah. Time speeds up around you or just 
it just is a later time than it should be when you look at the clock. Like, and that's not like, where did all the time go? It's like, no, really, all I've done is this and this and this. I can measure, I can tell you exactly what I did. How has it taken two hours? So I'm, I don't get that anymore. Now that I've started going to bed, um, sort of, I start the process of going to bed. I, you know, go and clean your teeth, stuff like that, at 10. And then I'm usually in bed sometime between, like, you know, 11 and 12, really. And, and then I'm awake eight hours after that. And, oh, it's so much better. Can I tell you, but there's a, every time this conversation comes up, right? Oh, Kyra says, when I say I need 12 hours, that isn't all spent sleeping. A lot of it's waiting for sleep to happen. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Um, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, um, when this topic comes up, there's a lot of people who have, like, problems with insomnia and so on. But then there's another breed, and I, I was in this breed. And for some reason, it's just like, you know... I don't think our parents had this. I think this is an internet nerd generation thing, but where we go... Yeah, but... All the cool stuff happens at night, and that's when I'm in. That's when I thrive. That's when I do my best this or that. That's when I do this as well as that. You know, there's just a thing where people are like, well, you know, it's fine. I only need this amount of sleep or whatever. And maybe a lot of them are right. But I can tell you for absolutely certain that I've... Well, well, let me give you a really, really clear example of how much better it's been for me. I am writing a novel now, and I never had the capacity to do that before. Uh, I always thought I did. I was always good at, like, you know, I knew what they would be. I knew what the story would be. I could, like, plan things. But the actual, like, discipline of of doing it was just out of my reach. It was just like, you know, I would sit down and write a little bit now and then, but it was never something I could have the kind of discipline a writer has about. I couldn't, for instance, go every single day to a cafe and sit down and just like for a couple of hours write, you know, a couple of thousand words or something. And now I do. That has happened just in the time since I changed my sleeping habits. Um, it's now really weird. A day when I don't go and do that feels weird to me. And I have this great story going on. And it's so great to finally be able to do this thing that I've always known I could do and wanted to do. I don't know how good I am, but I'm, you know, I couldn't even find out before because I wasn't doing it. Um, it. Oh, it's changed everything. It's amazing. And this is just because... Because of the extra sleep that I get now. Well, no, it's not extra sleep. I always got eight hours of sleep because I'm flexible enough that I can, you know, if I'm if I go to bed late, I can wake up early. But even when I was going to bed and sleeping at a routine time, but that time was like, you know, around 3 a.m. to around like 10 or 11 a.m. or whatever. Even though that was regular and, like, a decent amount of sleep, like seven hours or whatever, hey, I couldn't think properly, and I recognize that now. I, like, couldn't string a sentence together. And you know I've always had trouble with that. I just faltered there when I said, like, like, uh, and I've always had, like, well, no, I haven't always. When I was a kid, I could talk all day long without a, without a break. And now I'm worse at it. And I think it's just because I've been exhausting my brain for years. And it's coming back. You know, I'm finally fixing it. And I can write. And I couldn't before. I would struggle at the most basic things. And I still, you know, I, I'm not saying that I sit there and just fluently type like a good writer. But... I thought you were going to say type like a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, but it is that I can more readily and quickly get to what I'm trying to say or find a way around it or simply confront the fact that I'm, I should leave it for now and, you know, get the next thing done. I'm far more adept at all that now. And it's just because I'm spending more time in the sunlight and with a brain that's working and stuff. I, 
I'm, I'd be interested to see what it's like in the winter because it's always it was always harder in the winter because you know you haven't got as much sunlight anyway so when you're spending reduced hours in it it's not useful I'm but I am looking forward to seeing those dark mornings turn into sunlight and so on. oh yeah this guy that's weird, Kairu. I wonder what tribe you would evolve from. It is a thing, though. I, I seem to remember they... Someone did put together a, an argument for, like, people who... Oh, I, I can't remember now. There's no point in me trying to remember. I think it might even have just been, like, nerds, you know? They, they were the ones who figured, like... People who are, people who are good like athletes might be descended from you know the hunter gatherer stock, but people who are nerds might be descended from the you know the guy who figured out fire in the first place or whatever. I don't know how much uh, credence there is in that. Different bits going different bits, Karu. That's how evolution begins. Stretching out, Abby. Yeah. I am now Abby's footstool. Yeah. Stroke bed. Diddly 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 diddly. Alright, there we go. That's an act one. Let's see if I can get through an act two and then call it a bedtime. I've only got a couple of minutes, so probably not. Oh, yeah. Future. Good future time. Oh, yeah. Bourbon Bob Jim there, Abby, is saying that, uh... I'm gonna say he, because of the name Jim. Do correct me if I'm wrong there, Jim. Uh... Uh... Likes to listen to rain when he wakes up. Abby loves a bit of rain noise outside. He, like, when, uh... Abby likes it when she's d going to sleep, don't you? Oh, yes. Very much. Oh, oh, so Bourbon, then. Beg pardon. For a while I had such bad cataracts that Brightless had his own. Is that right, Kyra? I didn't know you had cataracts. Did you get them. Did you say for a while there? Did you get them fixed or. Oh! How do I get out of this? This does not bode well. Oh, but oh. Hey. Now I need reading glasses, but otherwise best vision I've ever had. Oh, well, I mean, that's normal. Who doesn't need glasses in this day and age? I actually think that a lot of the people who don't have glasses probably need glasses and just haven't thought of it. There's certainly... I mean, I, I've got a friend just, just within my immediate, like, circle of friends in Manchester who has glasses and needs glasses, but doesn't wear them. Um, she, she has them and puts them on, you know, some, when it's, like, important, but... It's never... It's not so... She, she does it when she feels she needs to. Whereas to me, that is... I can't imagine being like that. Because to me, I think I always need... You know, I always want cl clear vision. But I guess... I mean, I was... I'm the son of an, op an optician. So, it you know, it was very much just a part of our life that if you needed glasses, you had glasses. You put your glasses on. That's what you do with them. Um... You know, it's like if you were the son of a dentist, you'd probably have braces to get your teeth fixed, wouldn't you? Um, so, uh, I think it's a fairly ordinary opinion that, ah, we don't need glasses unless we're really, really struggling. And even that, I mean, Abby, you got glasses, didn't you? Not realising that you'd needed them for ages. And discovered upon getting them as a teenager that, oh, you're supposed to be able to see the board at the front of the class. <laughs> I think a lot of people live like that. I think that's just how most people are who don't have glasses. Probably don't realise it. And it must seem so silly to them when we talk about 
4K TVs and stuff. They must, they must just nod and smile and not know what we're on about. Like, oh, it's better. You know, oh, the people who know. Oh, I always jump off that. The people who know about technology say it's better, so it must be better because they say so or something. They must not actually know what we mean. Wow, Kairu. And now I don't know what it's like to have cataracts at all. I, I think of them as... I have a very layman's understanding, and I, I think of cataracts as when you... when a person basically has a kind of a, a white film in front of their eyes. Um, but I don't know what that looks like. I, I've always assumed a white patch. But now that you're saying that going outside in the sunlight, it was a problem. Does it kind of flare? Is it like when you've... Is it like when you've, um... You know, if you've got a cold and you get a bit of, uh... Some, so, something's wrong with your ears. You know, your ears probably got wax in them or something. This, this stuff. And, and under those circumstances, sharp sounds are really unpleasant and sharp. Is it a bit like that, but with light? Basically, it means you see relatively okay in low light, but when light appears, it just brightens up. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> the cataract reflects li light, refracts light all out into itself, like fibroptic. Oh gosh! So yeah, so you're seeing this overwhelming flare of light that's ugly and unpleasant. And, and the other reason is because your pupil constricts. So now the cataracted bit in the middle. He's covering him more, yeah. That sounds really annoying. Similar thing with what? Uh. Here he is. Oh wait, this is a really long and arduous boss, isn't it? Didn't one go. <laughs> Didn't take long to get to it. I, yeah, I got that it would be keratin and and the cones of the eyes. And also, I had a clue, which is that Matt's already told me about this once before, but you know my memory. Um, but I'm... Uh, it's the deformation of the cornea. Ooh. Deformation of the cornea reminds me of your smile. Here we go. When you feel tired, look at yourself. Is it tired? Oh. Gives a biz. Bzzz. Oh. By the way, oh, we are going to be playing a new game soon. I don't know if it'll be after the Rapture. I'm sure it will. I think I'm, I doubt that's a very long game. Uh, but we're going to be we're going to have a new game to play very soon. I've been excited about playing it for a long time. Okay, sorry, I had to do something on my phone then. Oh, this is difficult. Uh, I had extremely minor ones since my teens. But hormone-altering heartburn medication made them severe. Oh dear. A few years later it came out that cataracts are prevented by a hormone secretion. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Everyone's got... Various eye problems. What a nice little eye problem party we're in. I suppose. What do I mean by that? Do I mean like support group? What is it when it's a support group but everybody seems quite cheerful? You know, like a, hey, we all got this thing. Group. Oh, this is nice to have brought some people together with the same situation going, oh. Hey, I wonder if Knuckles has got the drop that. Oh no, because he just glides. Oh! Metal Sonic. I wonder if it would have been fun to have a Metal Knuckles here. Too much sprite work is what it would have been.
I've had the privilege of playing some really good games recently. This, and everybody's gone to the Rapture. Just exquisitely well-made games. I can't believe everyone's gone to the Rapture. I just I basically can't believe how good it is. Just that it exists, that there's this Archer's video game thing. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. Well, Kairu, what you want is STC. When they brought the Knuckles Metallics in, that was an exciting day and a half. They teased it in the previous issue. They said, like, something's coming, and there was just this... picture of something, a kind of a silhouette. And I, I can't remember what the clue was, but it was, you know, it was clearly going to be the Metal Knuckles, and I figured that out. And I was so excited. And then we went for a week's holiday, and... Uh, it, it would have been very similar to the sort of place that we've seen today and everyone's gone to the rapture. Ah, oh, he got me. And, um... And I paced in the... I was on holiday with my family, having a lovely holiday, but I paced back and forth in the garden the day before... Uh... Or the day the Knuckles issue came. Knuckles Metallic. Bleh! Knuckles Metallic issue came out. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to see if I can do this boss and then go to bed. But, um, yeah, I was really, really, really excited. Um, in STC, it's uh, it's not that Knuckles turned into a robot, like like you say, their roboticization. It wasn't that. It, the Metallics, the Brotherhood of Metallics, they are the Metal Sonics. There's not, in, in STC there wasn't just one. There started off being just one and then it turned out that there was a, a whole load of them. And this kind of tied in with why there was one in Sonic and Knuckles and, and they were called the Brotherhood of Metallics and they were Daleks. And uh, Nigel will tell you the same. Uh, the writer of, of the comic, Nigel Kitching, he basically wanted to write Dalek stories so he did. Oh, flip. It's not Kairu, but that's where we are. That is the that is the lot that life has dealt us. Oh, I can just go whenever I want, fair enough. Steady on there. Doop, doop, twiddly doo. A twiddly doo. Boop, doop, doop, twiddly doo. What a little doo. Ah. Ah. Why are there all trumpets all over this? I know. Why? It is cool. Ah, you're a pain. Will you get in that machine? What are you doing? What's this? Am I supposed to hit him? Metal Sonic. Will you get in the machine? He's glitched out. Uh... What was that all about? No. Oh. No. Oh. You're a little pain. Hey, that was nice. I should get extra points for that. Hey! <laughs> Oh gosh, Kairu's saying that if I'd have hit him in the running bit, that would have counted and I would have had a shorter fight or no fight in the other bit. But I don't... Have I been hitting him at all? I didn't realise I had. I know I'm supposed to hit him in this bit. I don't have though. Bip, bop, dribbly dob. No. No. 
No. Right then. Whoa. Okay, so no, I can't hit him in this bit by the looks of things. I've, I've gone through him a few times. Right. Okay. Okay, this is the bit where I can hit him, I think. Although it's a bit choosy about when. Oh. Come here! Oh. Oh, I'm just doomed to have no rings in this section. Give me some rings! Alright, one will do. Alright. Ah! Oh! Tried to roll at the last minute, failed. No! Oh! Ah, oh! oh, okay, it's a loop. I assume, by the fact that there was one ring there. Get them while invincible. Nice. Oh, not nice. That was annoying. It was a bit like the Sonic the movie there, the Sonic anime as we used to call it. Where he matched my every move. Strange, isn't it? Strange. Yeah, well, we'll see. Fair enough. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. I don't know though, the glide move is slow and when there's something chasing behind you. Well, anyway, it worked! Hooray! Deadly problem. There we go! Alright, so, oh, this will be something to look forward to next time. I love me a bit of Hydro City Zone, unlike Spanky, who's wrong and thinks it's bad. Oh, Abby, I know what we can do. Check it out, everyone. Wow. A diddly dee dee. Yeah. Let's see. So this is something that you can do in uh, as Knuckles in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Or in... Yeah, yeah, you have to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles to get Knuckles up here. You climb to the top of the wall, and chiefly the top of the background art. And there's a little something up there. No! Oh, no! On the Mega Drive, up here where those arches are, are a series of statues of Sonic. And you, you can only see them by being Knuckles and climbing all the way... Oh, well, I suppose maybe you can see it as you fall down for like a split second when you're Sonic. I'll have to look for that. But I've certainly never noticed it. But yeah, there's these statues of Sonic, and it's just never explained. Except... Yeah, no, seriously, Kairu, I mean... Yeah. I mean, we, we might go back to some Sonic 3 and Knuckles streams soon. Um, and I'll show you then. But, um, and of course it all connects in because later on you find a tapestry left by the, you know, we assume, the Echidnas. Um, sh depicting the final boss of the Doomsday Zone. So they knew what was going to happen. They had prophesied the coming of Sonic. And I guess those statues are part of that. Right, anyway, good night, everybody. That's us for today. We've had a lovely time. And a, a fiddly, a twiddly dee. Yeah, it is hard to remember that, especially since they, uh, uh, in this game, it, it isn't, is it? You know, you're all over the place in this game and we end up on the little planet or something. Right, okay. Yes, thank you, Kairu. Oh, what a good game both Everyone's Got to the Rapture is and this game is. Good games. Very happy about them. <laughs> See you later, Ross. Sorry about that. You'll have to, you, you can always watch the video back. Uh, them's the breaks sometimes. Good night, everybody. And uh, just before I go, uh, you can now something like subscribe and that. I don't know what that means, but I'm a affiliated Twitchy person now or something, and I don't know what it means. So there we go. We've we've by playing games for several days a lot recently, we've been upgraded in some way, and it means something or other. I don't know. Tell your friends. Maybe they'll know. Bye. Bye.